This company has 12 posts where they assemble parts. We have a data set that records the time for assembling for each post. And this is the goal. We need to list each post and count how many times they fell below 10 seconds. And we can't use a pivot table because we have a formula input. If we have formula inputs, we need a formula and the group by function can create pivot table reports. Row fields, that will be post where we get a unique list. Values, that will be the times and the function is going to be sum. Row fields, we're going to highlight posts. The function will create a unique list and use that list as criteria for whatever the calculation is. Well, the problem is these are actual values and we need to count either one for true or zero for false. So I'm going to ask the question, hey, how many of you are less than 10? There's the formula input that the pivot table can't deal with. Now I'm going to put parentheses around this and do any math operation on the true false values plus zero because that converts true to one, false to zero. Comma, and in the function argument, I'm going to use sum. And when I hit enter, I have created the exact report we need. Post 8 fell below 10 seconds 48 times. And this is a formula input, so I'm going to change 9. And instantly, our report updates. 7 never fell below 9. 8 fell below 34 times. Now, right at the bottom part of this short is a link to a full video about group by and pivot by functions.